Hi, welcome to Northwest Off-Road. I am Dan, and this is my 2004 Nissan Pathfinder SE. It's my main rig for leading runs, about 20 year. I bought it about four years ago, and today, we're gonna do a review of auto modifications I've done on it. There's quite a few, so hang on tight. Let's go. And the first thing you can see is the nice bumper, obviously. On my first welding project, it's a DIY bumper for XJ, a Jeep XJ with some modifications with the wings there to help it uh, lift it up and also lower down the winch and also give it some more width. So that's all custom. It's got an eye light into it. It's also got a nice light bar across the top. And I like this well, I believe. It's got a winch inside there. It's a Smitty built 9500 with a synthetic line. On the front too is the custom grill painting that's got nicks on it with some nice quality electrical tape to hold that on there. Got to fix that. Um, other customization is the eyelids or brows, you want to call them, have been painted. Uh, new headlights, new light bulbs and insiders too, so. Looking on the front, you can also see there's a snorkel, Navarro snorkel, that's a D21 snorkel. And on the side over here, an antenna is a Alpha Defense antenna for the radio. Come down below, I got a custom skid plate for the bumper and also a lower skid plate, which has been well used for the suspension. Extending from the front as well on the bumper, is this is the air unit underneath here, it has been very chopped down and uh, some plastic and some metal work to kind of hold it on to keep the splash guards on. I like to keep those on to keep the water out from getting underneath the hood or getting wherever you don't want it to go. Same thing on the other side. I still have on this side, it's down further. It's because the wash reservoir is still in there. Again, just using some metal and trying to kind of keep that up and tight while keeping the splash, splash guard still on. Looking underneath the hood, there's a lot going on in here. We'll start off in the front and work our way back. First thing I see is custom horns. The horns that came on the Pathfinder were pretty weak and those need to be changed. So I put in a little bit deeper horns. There's one here, of course one behind the battery. Look at down closer in here, you can see there's a couple custom coolers and these are actually transmission coolers. There's two in series, one here and one over here. I bypassed the radiator entirely. And look at down further, you can see this little Oh, radiator cooler down there that's actually for the power steering our repairs I've done is of course the power screws the power valve screws inside the engine also I had a new valve cover put that on as the previous one was leaking Canon air filter is in there um, electronics wise we have a blazer over here on the left to control the lights with a power cutoff switch it cuts off power to the blazer also cuts off power to the winch also underneath the hood, I have iridium spark plugs and also a PA speaker right there, right there for the CB. Looking at front suspension, you can first see I have a four inch subframe drop by Pines and Spines. Up at the strut towers, you can see those as well up there. The shock and spring struts are basically OME HDs. You can see I have no front sway bar. I had sway bar links on it before, or disconnected sway bar links on it before. And since I made this a permanent trail rig, I've removed those and the sway bar entirely. So in the front differential, there's a locker. It's a lunchbox locker made in Australia. It's got worn manual locking hubs on it, as you can see. It's got also a missing link way underneath there you can probably see it that's a temporary missing link that was um, put on our first modification probably and uh, that will come off when I add an extended skid plate in the future the braking system is actually all power stop the Z36 kit I think it's called um, power stop front and back with extended brake lines looking at the side you can see I have 35 inch tires these are Milestar Patagonia 315 7017 tires. They are on Hilo HE901. These are the satin type wheels. 
two different colors black kind of look kind of matches the vehicle a little bit he 901 satin black wheels these are minus 12 offset with a one inch spacer as well wheels are 17 by 9 inch uh, they fit well in the wheel well um, of course it's been trimmed drastically as you can see right there that's all been taken back to make space for it and turning from the side too you can also see the custom rock sliders i built those custom they stick out pretty well in a pretty nice angle coming to the back you can also see that this has been massively turned out too up underneath here this is all just just a shell to make room you can see it's rubbing just a hair there but that's all room for the back 35 inch tire as well suspension in the back i got new links going to the back there the shocks are bill scene 51 series uh let's say 33185569 the springs are land rover 9448 with a two inch spacer up top inside is a fit best um, bump stop with a spacer two inch spacer you can't see it but it's up in there and they're lower down and you can see i have no rear sway bar again that was taken off i had a sway bar on there and then i adjusted it once and then when i raised it again i just took the sway bar off as opposed to creating new extended ones Another thing you can see is I have a custom panhard drop. It's dropped about five and a half inches. And that makes the panhard pretty level when under load. It's up just a little bit now, but under load it's pretty darn level. Extended brake line in the back. Also a fuel filter has been changed too. Canon fuel filter right up in there. There's another view of the panhard drop. Also inside the rear axle is the Blocka lunchbox locker. Looking in the back, you can see I've got a trailer hitch and I do have the original spare. That's something that needs to be fixed in the future is like a real, real size spare. Looking further at the back, I don't have a rear bumper yet, hopefully soon, but I got two antennas. I got a fire stick four foot, but it's for CB. The other side is the ham one. It's also about four feet tall and they work great. For plenty above the vehicle get great reception with those on the top I got a nice roof rack custom made extended out with some rebar and I also have a custom mount with another nylite light that's a much longer curved light so that's the top rack looking inside the vehicle first thing I have is a three camera rear mirror one camera faces four, one faces in the rear, and one faces inside. This one up here is the one I'm recording on now, as you can see. Down below, I've got a nice head unit here. Came with the uh, Pathfinder, very nice. Ham radio. It's a FTM 3200D. Two meter radio, and also a President Johnny 3 CB there on the side. Blazer control unit for the lights. That's it right there, it's all wireless. I controls my lights. Another modification in the interior is all LED lighting, front and back. These as well. I did not do LEDs in the dash, maybe in the future. Another repair I've done is actually a fuel pump and the sending unit down right in there. So there it is. That's all the modifications and repairs I've done. Some obvious things in the future, as you can see, definitely a rear bumper. And a tire carrier is definitely on the list next. Other modifications you can't see is a transfer case gear. Uh, the current one's a 2.6. I have a 3.9 to put in there. So that'll be the next modification as well. There is a the transfer case that's going to come out of there. We're going to put a new gear in there. Another modification I do is a breather, a custom breather. That one is a stock one. I definitely like to get something better on there. That's another modification that's coming in the future. Another modification is maybe a little bit more clearance in the front i got a little bit of i'm just about level i could probably raise another inch or so so i might do that to try to get a little bit more clearance underneath so we're talking heavier duty more heavy duty springs or maybe a spacer we'll see also i might go with it is the uh, track motive cvs the extended cv axles that might be a nice pairing as well 
So there you have it. That's some modifications and repairs I've done on my 2004 Nissan Pathfinder. Let me know what you think. If you have questions or comments, if you'd like to see another video on how I work up some of these projects, let me know. I'm happy to make more videos and got some coming in the future, specifically for the um, snorkel and also the front bumper, how those are done. So much for coming and thanks for watching.